Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening. Today's topic is our thoughts and how to make sure they are telling the truth. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. So, I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I think Engaging about- conversations about topics impacting the church today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And deep dives into Scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only do Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by the Salvation Army. Scripture and brain science agree. Meditating on God's Word transforms us and reduces stress in our lives. I'm Jody Nisnik host of So Much More, Creating Space for God, a scripture meditation podcast. And each week I give you space to hear God's word, listen to the spirit and pray about what's on your heart. And then we have a thoughtful conversation with guests to help us go deeper. Listen and subscribe at lifeaudio.com. The Darkest Thought, written and read by Meg Booker. Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Proverbs 28, 26. The Darkest Thought, the one that wants us to give up, stop trying, and throw in the towel. The Darkest Thought will try to convince us we cannot live like this anymore. It will hold us hostage and sleep when we would normally wake, and hostage awake when we would normally sleep. The darkest thoughts plague us, pricking at our thin skin and picking open fresh wounds. There are days we don't want to do. It's as simple as that. The enemy comes for all of us, one time or another, with a dark proposition. See it for the lie it is, and seek the help which surrounds us, via counselors and medical professionals, to help us heal when our nervous systems have broken down. Life peels back like layers as we grow closer to God. As we become familiar with his voice, the darkest thought loses its volume. The creator of the universe assures us, we are here for a reason, each one of us. He knew us before we were born. We are living the greatest love story of all time, in which he sent his only son to save us. He will never leave us. We are never alone. He understands and meets us where we are at. No unmet expectations or disappointed glances. Just unconditional, accepting, sacrificial, unfailing love. The loveliest thoughts. What are we thinking? Proverbs 4.23 says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. This means more than just the actual organ beating inside of our chests. Often when the heart is mentioned, it represents the central seat of all we are, including our conscience, wisdom, will, and emotions. The Hebrew translation of the word, in this case and many others, defines heart as inner man, mind, will, understanding, seat of courage. The details of the definition further define it as the inner part, midst, heart, soul, Mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory, inclination, resolution, determination of will, conscience, heart of moral character, as seat of appetites, as seat of emotions and passions. That's an all-encompassing definition of what the writer of Proverbs is trying to convey by using the terminology, guard your heart. 
Literally, we are to guard our innermost being, will, heart, understanding, soul, mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory, inclination, resolution, determination, our conscience, moral character, appetite, emotions, and passions. Guard your heart above all else, Solomon wrote, for it determines the course of your life. Solomon was renowned as the wisest man on earth. He was King David's son. He had everything he could have ever wanted in life and knew it meant nothing if the heart was tainted and unguarded. Guarding our hearts means taking the thoughts we notice and making them obedient to the word of God. If a thought doesn't line up, we don't have to continue thinking about it. It's the mind's natural tendency to drift restlessly from one thought to another, moving between memories, imaginings, goals, and plans, Lee Jerome wrote for psychology.com. The average person has about 6.5 thoughts per minute or about 6,200 thoughts per day. Though we cannot control every thought which comes into our minds, we surely have control over them when we notice them. By the power of Christ Jesus in us, we have power to hold our thoughts captive to the truth of God. In other words, we have power and authority in Christ Jesus to guard our hearts above all else for it determines the course of your life. The darkest thoughts of taking life into our own hands and removing it from the face of the earth most certainly determines the course of our lives. This thought is important to hold captive to the truth of God and get it out of our minds as quickly and efficiently as possible, declaring, in the name of Christ Jesus, the darkest thoughts have no power over us. The darkest thought is a lie a seemingly easy way out, but a tragic loss for all who border that life here on earth. This, coupled with seeking counseling professionals for the medical healing our nerves and minds need sometimes, leads us back to literal life, intersecting faith and life. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture the rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Thoughts are just thoughts. They are not in charge. God is in charge, and he has given us everything we need to fix our thoughts on him and on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. There's no easy way around what we have to do. Those who trust in themselves are fools, Proverbs 28, 26 reminds us. But those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, the method by which we are to put our trust in the Lord is by capturing rebellious thoughts and teaching them to obey Christ. Everyday life throws 6,200 thoughts into our minds. We know what we have to do and how we are to do it. When we are in the Word of God daily, we will better be able to identify thoughts which don't ally with the truth of what God says. The Bible is God's truth. Prayerfully, we can ask for a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit to help us develop the wisdom and astuteness we need to make sure we aren't led down a rabbit trail of lies. Our minds are powerful. God made them that way and gives us everything we need to live wise lives with guarded hearts. For further reading, Colossians 3, verses 2 through 5, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity.